When I'm trying to deconstruct a language, one of the first things I do is I have my deconstruction dozen. I have a dozen or so sentences that are very simple. I eat the apple. John gives me the apple. It is his apple. He gives it to her. He gave it to her, and so on, which allows me to learn the basic sentence structure of a language, the architecture of a language, how they handle past tense, direct objects, indirect objects, pronouns, all of these things on one page. So it's not intimidating. And as it turns out, I only learned a few years ago that a gentleman named Cardinal Giuseppe Mezzofanti, long dead in the 1700s, was one of the most famous hyperpolyglots of all time. That means that he had been tested as fluent in something like 30, 31 languages and was purported to speak as many as 72. How did he do it? He certainly couldn't just order a program from Amazon. He used the Lord's Prayer. So in a few paragraphs, he had the native speaker translate the Lord's Prayer into their native language, his target language. And I do the same thing with my 12 sentences. I keep it very compressed on one page, so whenever I get overwhelmed, I can refer back to that as my guide, as my compass. Hey guys, Tim Ferriss here. I highly recommend you check out the podcast. It was one of iTunes' best of 2014. It has had more than 25 million downloads because of guests like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like John Favreau, the director of Iron Man, like Amanda Palmer, like Triple H. It goes on and on and on. We have everyone from chess prodigies to hedge fund managers to A-list actors and actresses, and I deconstruct excellence. I tease out the routines and the habits, favorite books, et cetera, of all of these people. So please check it out, please subscribe, and let me know who you want to see on the podcast. I can get just about anybody, so let me know who's on your wish list. Go to fourhourworkweek.com forward slash podcast, all spelled out, fourhourworkweek.com forward slash podcast, or you can see it on iTunes, The Tim Ferriss Show.